guys know, I love talking about fashion. It's kind of my entire job. But sometimes I get comments and DMs that are like, whoa, Ashley, slow the fuck down a little bit. Stop talking like 160 words per minute. Take a step back, pop it, lock it, polka dot it, country fi it, hip hop it, and just make a video walking us through the basics of how you build an outfit. I could kind of ramble to you guys about all of the fashion rules and whatever, but I thought it would be a lot more fun if I just build a couple outfits with you guys today and kind of explain my process as I go. So without further ado, here is how to build an outfit 101. So I thought we'd start off with something super basic. This is like girl who carries around a yoga mat, won't shut up about a pumpkin spice latte, uses the word yas all the time, but doesn't actually give a shit about gay rights type of basic, you know? So we are just starting out with a plain sweater and some jeans, hopefully something that you guys all own. The first step that I already kind of did is if you have a big sweater like this, I love just tucking one corner into the front of the jeans. Obviously the sweater is pretty bulky, so if I try to tuck the whole thing in, it's gonna look a little bit chunky around my waist, but I do love a good little mini tuck and make sure that you don't lose your waist when you're still wearing a pretty big flowy sweater. For jeans, I feel like everybody has a different fit preference based on their body type and their height and their general style. But lately I've been loving a good straight leg jean. It's a lot more casual and like Soho cool girl than a skinny jean and honestly a lot more comfortable because like my legs can do this for once in my life. Middle school Ashley in her skin tight jeggings could not do any of this shit so really moving up in the world. Okay, to bring this outfit together, I have some black accessories. So here I've gone for a little bit of a high sleek boot to balance out the fact that the jeans are a little bit looser and so is the sweater. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio, sorry. I can't talk right now, I'm kind of like filming a video. Bye. It's hard sometimes being this famous. Anyways, my general rule is that if the outfit is more bodycon or it shows more skin, you can normally get away with a flatter shoe because it doesn't really drown out your body. There's still a lot of leg showing, but if you have kind of a full coverage outfit like this, not anything super skin tight, it's nice to have a higher shoe to give you that height. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then I am just adding this belt for a little bit of gold detailing with the outfit. I feel like that helps elevate kind of a basic look and also bring in my waist, match with those boots. And then our final accessory, because I'm a hipster piece of trash, is a scrunchie. I've been wearing scrunchies on my wrist all the time now. I feel like the black helps tie everything together and it looks super cute with this balloon sleeve because this kind of balloons out, again, the wrist, if that makes sense at all. I don't know, that's my thought process. And then for jewelry, which is a component of fashion that I just completely ignored for the first like 19 years of my life. Also, I feel like with my hair and this big poofy sweater, I kind of have an 80s theme going on, so I wanted to go with some big hoop earrings to complete the 80s inspired look. The look. <laughs> Okay, we're back. I had to go and look at those in the mirror because I'm not well acquainted enough with my ear holes to actually do this in the camera viewfinder. But here we go with a little bit more glitz on the ears and I'll show you guys the final look. All right, that is enough self-indulgent posing for now. Next up, I thought I would bring in a little bit of print. Oh ho ho, we are leveling up real fast. So I have this plaid skirt from Urban Outfitters and as you can see, it's not crazy colorful, but it does have a couple different colorways going through it. It has a forest green, a navy blue, and kind of this tannish nude color. You guys can see that because you have eyes. So the simplest way to style prints, in my opinion, is to pick one of the colors that's on the print and then pair it with a solid item of that color if that makes sense. So here is a sweater that ties in a little bit better with that accent color on the skirt. And since the fabric is pretty thin, I'm gonna tuck it in all the way around on my skirt so I don't lose my waist. And after I tuck it in, I kind of zhuzh it out a little bit so it kind of has like a loose, flowy look rather than just being super tucked in and kind of wrinkly at the front. I also chose this sweater because it has more of a high neckline and it's gonna help balance out how short this skirt is. So for shoes, I was thinking it could be cool to incorporate a boot with like a little bit more hardware like this one, but since my whole outfit is a little gold slash warm toned, I think the silver is gonna contrast with that weirdly. So instead I'm gonna go with the same boots from before, but I'm gonna add a little sock action here. You can buy these socks, literally like five of them for $10 on Amazon. They're super cute jewel tones, which are great for winter, and you can just slap them on under your regular shoes. It helps dress them up a little bit. So this is how the outfit is looking so far. I think it's still super cute, but I think with the heels and the short skirt, it's a little bit a lot of leg. So I thought I would add this coat 
which I thrifted recently. Look at this baby, it is luscious. This admittedly does not cover up much more leg, but I think this jacket helps balance everything out, makes it look a little bit more cozy because it's so oversized. Obviously, you can wear your jackets on the shoulder like a normal person, or as you guys have seen in so many of my videos, you can also do a little bit of off the shoulder like caping action, which helps cover up your butt a little bit more. Is it practical? No, but does it look cute? Yes, and that is all that matters on the internet. And yeah, um, I'm actually really proud of this one. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one later this week if it gets cold enough in LA, which it never does. Next up, let's try to style something a little bit more colorful. This is some wild uncharted territory, folks, but I'm going there for you guys. I've been wanting to wear this dress recently. It is a yellow corduroy dress. It's so freaking cute. Admittedly, it's a little bit tight around the stomach, but I've been enjoying a good Halloween candy or two or five. It's cute as is, but I feel like especially because it's winter, it is begging to have something layered underneath it, perhaps in a contrasting texture and color. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these two colors together. So there's like all this color theory shit that I spent so long in art class learning. But my general rule when I'm putting together contrasting colors is that I want them to be a similar level of saturation. So how bright or faded the color is. And I also like them to have a similar level of lightness or darkness. So like you want pastels to go with pastels and jewel tones to go with jewel tones. I said zipper does not, not wanna work with me today. Come on, baby, you got this. Maybe you don't got this. Shit. Okay, well, I might have broken the zipper on this dress, but we're gonna proceed with this outfit before... Oh gosh, it's getting worse. Oh, whoa, no, 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 no! Stop that. God damn it. So I'm just gonna kind of safety pin this dress together for now so I can finish this outfit. Alrighty, good as new. That's couture, if I've ever seen it. As is, I look like a little bit of a fast food worker, so I'm kind of like pulling it up and then open to show that center chest area, hot. Ooh, okay, I kind of love that. Also, by the way, if you're tucking a shirt into a dress, sometimes you just gotta like go up from the butt and kind of pull down your shirt. You know, just pulling down that shirt fabric, just another day in my chic lifestyle. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now the shirt is laying a little bit more flat underneath my dress. And for shoes, we are going to be going for these corduroy heels. I think these shoes were made for this outfit. They're corduroy, so they match the corduroy of my dress, but are obviously adding a new color into the mix. Okay, and ignoring the fact that my dress is busted open, here is the complete look. I feel like a very chic elementary school teacher. I also wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a wintry option though. I popped on these thigh high boots that I got. They add another texture, so I have suede, corduroy, and silk going on in one outfit. Okay, while I'm taking out these safety pins, I'm thinking next up, we can style some printed pants. Okay, so we have these pants, which are giving me pretty strong punk rock vibes. So I think that is just the vibe that we're gonna roll with today. Also, I hope my video doesn't fucking get demonetized for me wearing a bra. There's no nipple, okay? There's hardly any boob. Calm down, folks. I feel like for pants, since there's so much fabric, these can feel a little bit louder than a printed skirt or a printed top. So I'm just gonna try to keep the rest of this outfit as neutral as possible. I have this black little crop top. It matches the black in the pants. It's a super minimal silhouette. And I also like that it shows a tiny bit of midriff here. That little bit of skin just helps break up all of this crazy pattern. I'm also gonna go ahead and switch out these gigantic earrings for something a little bit less fancy and girly to match that punk rock vibe that we're going for. These are still nice and dangly. And by the way, the reason that I always wear dangly earrings is that I think my face overall is a little bit wide, especially if I smile like this. It's a little bit of a circle. So I like dangly earrings to draw the eye downwards and create more of like a long face shape. At least that's what I read online. I feel like it makes my face look better. Now, this is already looking cute, but to turn it into more of a winter outfit, I'm gonna add a jacket. And again, I'm gonna stick with a black theme so that the pants can really be the focal point of the outfit. So that means our good friend, the leather jacket. And this one is actually so perfect because the lining is red, which matches the red in the pants. Kind of, that's not really the same tone of red, but we're gonna <laughs> pretend like it is. The key for layering in the winter in general is to make sure that something in your bottom layer still shows off your figure and your waist. And then you can layer a bunch of pieces on top of that, but they'll still be like a little bit of your body peeking through. I don't even think anybody's gonna be able to see my ankles in this outfit, but just in case they do, cause I'm extra like that, I'm gonna add on these maroon socks that kind of match my pants and tie in the whole outfit together. This is a problem with docks, is that they take forever to put on. Yeah. Here we are, ready for some good stomping. Okay, last up, we are gonna 
gonna be styling something with a blazer because a lot of you guys have asked me how to style an oversized blazer while still obviously looking cute and not too much like Hillary Clinton. So no offense, Hillary, I love you girl. So we're gonna be styling this oversized plaid jacket that I got from Zara a couple years ago. Still going strong, we're in a long-term relationship. It's getting kind of serious. We have a dog together. I've met her parents. I'm going with a black denim skirt to match the black on this blazer, obviously, but to still kind of dress it down a little bit. I feel like denim skirts are more of a casual piece. Okay, babe, this is gonna be a look. I've been meaning to try this leopard print turtleneck for a while, and I feel like since it's in the same faded, neutral, dark brown colorway as this blazer, it's gonna work. <laughs> the moment of truth, I hope this looks good. You know what? I'm not mad. I will say a tip, if you're ever unsure about your outfit or you feel like it's a little bit overwhelming. If you have long hair, just put your hair in front of the outfit. With my hair back, this is kind of a lot. There's a lot going on here. With my hair forwards, cute. Okay, after some searching, I have gathered my accessories. So I think similarly to before, I'm just gonna tie all of these prints together with some black accessories. So I have my trusty old double ring belt. This skirt is also a little bit loose on me, so I feel like the belt is gonna help me kind of cinch in that waist. And then for shoes, ah, <laughs> I have the boots I've been wearing this entire video. I think these just really go well with everything and are gonna help give me some height because this jacket is a little bit big. And here is the finished look. I feel like it pulls off the leopard print and the pattern mixing without looking too 2000s. And I think it looks put together, but not too corporate. Overall, quite pleased. All right guys, and those are all of my outfits for this video. It is November and I'm still fucking sweating up a storm. I don't know how LA does this, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think you could tell I had a lot of fun making it. It's really fun kind of showing you the process and getting dressed with you in a non-creepy way. Okay, I am going to go now before I sweat on this blazer and have to dry clean it, but thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.